yeah hello everyone you're welcome to this section in this section i'm gonna show you how you can achieve uh, responsive views or responsive design and arrange your sites responsively with uh elemental now look at this you come here when you enter on from your admin section you come here look at this this is responsive mode click on responsive mode when you click on responsive mode you see this now this is telling you that you are currently on desktop mode look at this this is tablet mode look at this this is mobile mode so let's assume i'm designing this site i want to see how it's going to look on tablet. i just need to click this look at it this is going to look on on a tablet device okay this is going to look on a tablet device do you understand now let's assume i want to see how it's going to look on mobile device i can come here click on this look at it so this is gonna look on a mobile device this is gonna look on a mobile device okay yeah however as it is i can even adjust it also and say okay while i'm on a mobile device while this guy is selected okay i want these icons i want these icons to be okay uh, i want it to be something else okay let's still select the same icon and start uh, but let's say okay on mobile device I want the color to be red I want the color to be red so you select any type of red that it's okay for you here I think this is okay for me this is okay for me so let me copy the code okay yeah so that's the red so while I'm, I'm still on mobile you understand Just paste it. I'm just gonna do the same thing for all of these guys. Select style here, paste it here also. Style. You select this, you paste that same color. You come here also. You come to style. You paste that same stuff. You come here. Uh, come to style you paste that same color that I've copied the color code for venue also do that uh, then you paste it then for this I'm gonna replace this later because I can't have too many so either I change it to something else or or I remove it totally now look at so on on mobile it's gonna look like this let's assume on mobile you want it to be two columns you can still achieve the same thing so what you just need to do is that um, here look at it here this you can decide to give it let's say 50 percent 50 percent look at it now so you give this other one also 50 percent 50 percent you can see that now so that means on mobile version I want it to be like this you can apply the same 50 percent for these guys also mm -hmm. a mobile version i want it to be like this then you do your save yeah okay that means that has been saved okay then on tablets let's say on tablet i want it to be like this you can see now now i have three rows i can decide that okay i want uh, two rows or four rows so that means i just need to make this uh, this can be like 20, 20, 20, 20, yes. If I make it 20, 20% now, I think they should be able to fix, to fit in. Either 20% or 15%. Look at it. Let me say 20%. Okay. Uh, let me also give this. Uh, 20% here. Yeah. also 20 percent you can see now i'm having four now okay well let me see 25 25 yes 25 25 percent okay 25 yes click on these 25 click on these 25 oh 25 no because it's not up to 100 I may not have 25 sorry let's do 20 yeah okay 20 20 and let's have 
twenty. Uh, let's have uh, twenty eight also. Okay, good. So I have uh, four, four in a row. I can do the same thing here. Twenty. Yeah. Twenty. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, twenty, twenty. Sorry, I'm gonna make this twenty-five. I want four in a row, not five. Yeah, okay. So that's what I want. Twenty-five. What's this? I want twenty-five. What about this? I want twenty-five. Good. For the five here also let's make it 25 okay so that means on um tablet i'm gonna have this now this i can justify it to center by coming here the same thing for this come to style center the same thing for this come to style center the same thing for this come to style center so it did the same thing for these guys also so that's how to have a, a responsive design showing different things with elemental you can decide to hide a section on mobile i'm gonna do that just right now so that you can see after i'm done with this i'm gonna hide a section so the moment i hide it that section will not show anymore on either mobile or tablet okay so let's assume um i want to hide this sponsor i want to hide it on tablet version let's say i want to hide it on the tablet version if i'm gonna hide it on tablet version so let me just okay come to advance look at it come to responsiveness look at it i have the visibility option here I can decide to hide it on tablet. I can decide to uh, on desktop. Sorry, this is desktop. I can decide to hide it on tablet. See, the moment I apply that effect, you can see it has some cross stuff. Okay, and I can also decide to hide it on mobile. Now, if I publish now, if somebody tries to access this site on mobile and also on tablet, this sponsor section will not show. It won't show only the other options that are enabled will show so i'm just gonna undo that now because i want this guy i want this section to show so i'm gonna enable that now however don't forget you can switch between several devices here look at it okay so look at it here now everything is arranged like this i can decide to arrange it four four or three three just by coming here and by selecting and giving it the size that i want okay yes now uh the same thing with tablets and um the same thing with this i think uh, i really like this okay sorry i'm gonna go back to what i used to have i used to have 30. is it 30 yes 30. so let's have this back to 30. yes this also 30 good so this is okay so don't forget anything you are doing click on update you can also play around all these guys also and play around them okay you can have an over effect on your icon if you want to by clicking here then applying the effects okay yeah so that is how to achieve a responsive layout and views with bootstrap yes don't forget also you can hide any section of your choice through the app of bootstrap by selecting the section okay coming to advance then uh, click on responsive then you decide to hide or show any area you want to hide or show don't forget that you can write your custom css here yes so thank you very much see you in the next section